Hi, beautiful souls. Today I thought I'd share a little light on sensitivity and whether you are a sensitive person, you will obviously feel energy so much more than others. I have always been a sensitive person and this has been a blessing and sometimes it's been very challenging because when you're growing up, um, children aren't always nice to other children and you get ridiculed for being slightly different. And I was always very insightful, intuitive, telepathic, um, psychic, even when I was little. And that, of course, made me different to a lot of the other children, most of the other children, all the other children, um, certainly my experience when I was growing up. And so you can be, you know, victimized in a way. I don't really like labels and so I don't like to refer to myself as being a highly sensitive person and I'm sure that there's many other people like me that also don't like to refer to themselves with a label but I do feel it's important to address sensitivity because sometimes we overlook the fact that some people process things in a very different way and whilst there may be some challenges with being highly sensitive there's also an incredible amount of superpowers that come with being highly sensitive and the other thing i wish to address is the fact that even if you are not born highly sensitive you can develop these skills because they do serve you well they do serve to be very sensitive because you can you can assist so much more on this earth plane if you are able to tap in to another person's feelings, how they're feeling, um, empathize with them, show compassion to them, um, experience the subtleties that surround you in the environment where you are, the energies coming through, the energies being um, emitted from others, what they all mean, being able to literally, you, it's, like, it's like little strands, you can kind of read them. And, um, and there's so much more. You know, there is so much more to being a sensitive person that can really inspire and illuminate this world. So I really want to just concentrate on the superpowers, the, the powers that really assist us using those sensitive abilities and how we might take them up a notch and apply them in this world. The number one, I would say, is probably being able to tune in to somebody else's feelings, whether that being a human or a, um, a non-human, <laughs> like an animal. Um, even a tree, the animals, um, I've said the animals, nature, a planet, everything. When you're highly sensitive, you can really feel it's like that film there was a, a film with um what was it called forrest whitaker plays this uh sensitive in the film and he knows exactly what this alien is thinking and what she's up to and everything else because he can get right inside and um experience what she's up to and this is another aspect is that uh sensitive people are very intuitive now you can practice being intuitive, you can practice these psychic abilities and these abilities to grow wonderment in your world. When I was younger, even though I was already pretty psychic, I used to spend great lengths of my time sitting there with packs of cards and I would go through the cards one after the other, going red, black, red, black, you know, with the colours until I'd really mastered like getting the colours right and then I would start um, calling out what the cards would be and I would just do this for well ridiculous amounts of time because um, that's what sometimes you do when you become a bit obsessed about growing a skill until I became really really good at it and it also helped me to enhance my intuition which I already had but it made it stronger and it made it more accessible in an instant um, Another aspect of being sensitive is that it takes a little bit longer to respond and to process. 
Now, this isn't always a bad thing because sometimes people can reply far too soon and they can be reactive in the way that they respond. And we want to respond with sensitivity and consideration rather than reactivity and defensiveness. So even though this can sort of like, in some cases, take days, years, whatever, um, it's just a lot more considered. Of course, with this can be overthinking. And so we have to address that as a sensitive person, not to get too much in the head and too overthinking um, by being disciplined about how, how much time we allow ourselves to mull over something. Because if you mull over something for too long, then you are losing your energy. So you want to say, okay, I'm aware that I have a little bit of interest here and I want to just process this and respond to this with love and with, with, um, with a divine neutrality. Um, I'll give myself until this amount of time and let it come and go as it pleases. You know, that thought comes and goes as it pleases until you go, okay, I'm ready to respond. This can be really useful in, in many areas because it's, it's so much more diffusing than if you're just, you know, right, rah, 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 rah. So it is a positive. I see it as being a great positive. Another very wonderful um, ability is having a very rich, extraordinary and um, magical inner world you can develop this as well this is a this is a gift but this is a gift that can be developed and that is by going within and through meditation and through creative expression so if you want to develop your inner world you have got to get out your paints you have got to get out your instruments or whatever it is and play and sing and dance and create and go out into nature and talk to the trees and listen to the trees speak to literally speak to the trees and just stand there place your hand on your on the tree and go reveal to me reveal reveal to me all that you are because trees do speak i mean they they take care of their young they take care of other trees they take care of all manner of different beings within the forests they're wisdom keepers and you can tap into the wisdom of all trees from different pastimes and this is something that obviously as a gift, being sensitive, you already feel it within your inner garden, but you can develop it, you can grow it, you can make it broader and richer just by going out into nature and constantly every single day, create, create, create. Do not allow barriers to stand in your way. If something comes to you as a, oh, interesting, this, this uh, occurred in dream time, what might that mean? Don't, don't dismiss things. Be grateful for everything. I'm so grateful I had this wonderful dream. I'm so grateful I, I was shown this beautiful innovation for a solution to our planet. I'm so grateful for this. And this is the thing. It's like a lot of the time when you have a very rich and vibrant inner garden, then you are able to create innovations, which are solutions. And solutions equal helping the general planet, humanity, and all else. That's another thing with sensitive people because we know what it's like to feel sensitive. And we know what people are feeling. We're always willing to help others and we're always willing to be in service, sometimes at our own detriment, which we have to keep an eye on. But I think it's a, a very noble trait to be helping others and to be in service and of course we can all develop this skill because this is where this whole planet is moving towards is becoming more unity conscious orientated so the more that we help others the more we are allowing we're opening that doorway and saying i'm helping others this is what i am creating in my world is to help others to co-create and to be a vehicle of love and as you're doing that, the universe goes, hey, that's amazing. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, shine some magic and miracles your way because I can see that you are in service 
and in service to unity as a unified being, not a service to self person, which we don't want to be anymore because that we know that that doesn't work. And sensitive people certainly aren't like that. They're much more considerate of everybody else and wanting everybody to flourish at the same time, not just wanting themselves to um, do well. Oh, I must keep it all to myself, keep all the information to myself, keep all of the abundance to myself. That's not what sensitive people are like. They want to share and they want to give and they want to see others thrive and flourish as well. And they want to do it together because they know what it's like to be alone. They know what it's like to have been treated unfairly. So they have a very strong moral compass because they wish to assist others. And they have that noble sense of discernment, integrity, high standards. Sometimes, yeah, con certainly conscientious, but sometimes they can be a bit too harsh on themselves. This is not the same as perfectionism. This is a different, a different uh, vibration, a different frequency. And, um, you know, attention to detail, being able to experience subtle differences in, um, in awareness and also being able to tap into su sublime beauty. Often when there's something like in music or in art where there's certain detail which can just really just speak to you like it's sacred geometry, it's the golden section, a sensitive person will immediately pick up on that and will feel it deeply in the heart and be like, oh wow, that's just so beautiful, that's amazing. They may not even be studied in the golden section or understand Fibonacci spiral, but they certainly understand that there is something there that is sublimely beautiful and is speaking, resonating with their soul, with their essence. Whereas as somebody that's not sensitive would not even encounter that. Now, this is also something that can be honed. And these, these skills are good. These skills are really assisting the whole planet because when we create beauty in things, it raises the frequency. When somebody taps into something that touches their heart, it instantly raises how they're feeling. So we want to create things with beauty, with sacred geometry, with divine perfection from our hearts and not these um, churned out mass produced things that do not share that same precious, beautiful gift within. I realise that I've been talking quite a long time and I'm trying to keep my video short. So I shall leave it at this for now. I mean, there's so much to talk on about sensitivity, but ultimately what I invite you to consider is how are you applying your gifts of sensitivity? Might you be able to hone your gifts of sensitivity? And of course, because I am a vegan and I always want to just express how important it is for us to consider all life on this planet, when a person is truly sensitive, you wouldn't want to harm anyone else. A sensitive person does not put something else into a position of hurt and pain uh, to fuel their own bodies. So you can get everything from plants. You don't need to eat the flesh of our animal friends. And sensitive people are more inclined to steer clear of that. And uh, the more sensitive you become, the more aware you become, the more conscientious you become, the less likely you will want to harm and hurt any other being. So this is my message for today. Sensitivity. How sensitive are you? And how might you hone your divine and perfect qualities of sensitivity and use those qualities for the greater good? of this beautiful planet. Please comment if you feel called to do so. My name is Zaza and thank you for your patience in this lengthy, in this lengthy uh, video. Thanks for watching.